In this video, we explore some answers to this question. How do I start a small business podcast? Stay tuned as I am going to walk you through it step by step. No matter how new you are to podcasting, anyone can get started. I will give you important podcasting tips and best practices which can help you start a podcast with no prior expertise needed. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to walk away with a simple action plan to start a small business podcast. Keep watching. Hi, my name is Ashley. If this is your first time here, please hit the subscribe button so you do not miss any new videos. Please give the video a like because that motivates me to make content for you. Thank you very much. Let's get right into it. So let me start by telling you what a podcast is. A podcast is an audio series available online. Like a TV or radio show, it's made up of episodes and seasons. Listeners can subscribe to specific podcasts, download episodes as they become available and listen to them whenever and wherever it's convenient. Tuning into a podcast requires only a smartphone, tablet or computer. To start a podcast for your business, I suggest that you figure out your audience, format and style before planning your first episode. Once you've sorted the podcast basics, invest in high quality recording and editing equipment, my advice is to conduct your interviews in ways that dovetail with your format. Once your podcast is fully recorded and edited, add voiceovers, music and cover art before uploading it to a hosting platform. Given podcasts' ability to build audience engagement, it's no surprise that business owners, entrepreneurs and marketers want to capitalise on this medium's popularity. As a podcaster, you can position yourself as an authority in a particular topic or field, which will help you influence clients and customers in ways that encourage them to purchase your products and services, invest in your business or promote it via word of mouth advertising. And all of this can be done on a small budget because in most cases, creating a podcast doesn't require a significant startup costs. I will now give you some brilliant tips and best practices to help you start a podcast. Here we go. So the first step is to identify your topic and audience. The first step is deciding on your podcast's focus. You need to find a happy medium between a topic broad enough that you can explore various aspects and narrow enough to attract an audience with that specific interest. My advice is don't try to be everything to everybody. By showcasing quality content targeted to a specific group of people, who want that content, you'll find your voice and start to grow your audience. If your industry is underserved in the podcast universe, there are probably listeners out there hungry for information and actively searching for new content. My advice is to find a niche market where you can easily and authoritatively speak for long stretches in language that's informal and engaging. The next thing I suggest you do is choose a name. As part of identifying your topic and audience, you should choose an appealing name. There are a couple of ways to find the perfect name for your podcast. You can come up with a descriptive title that is self-explanatory. Another option is to create something clever and catchy but ensure it offers a clear connection back to your niche. The name must be instantly recognisable to listeners looking for your topic. Though tempting, I suggest that you avoid incorporating your name into the title. This only works if you already have tremendous name recognition among your audience. The next step I suggest you take is to select a format. There are many podcast formats. The most common include solo shows, co-hosted shows and interview shows. Solo shows involve the podcaster speaking directly to the audience. With a co-hosted show, you share the mic with another presenter. In an interview show, you speak with guests, which you can do solo or with a co-host. If you're interviewing guests, two hosts can be a bit cumbersome and also potentially prevent you from digging into interesting information from your guest because both hosts may want to add commentary. However, a co-hosted show can work if each presenter plays a specific role. 
If at any point you want access to more training resources you can use to understand podcasting, I recommend you click the link under the video now and check out the Podcast Masterclass online course. This online course contains so much valuable information that you will not find anywhere else. You can use everything you learn on this course to start a podcast business. If you want to take this course, you can find the link in the description box under this video. So let's now get back to those tips. Here we go. Regardless of the arrangement you prefer, what matters most is finding a format that lends itself well to exploring your subject matter. In the end, it's about having a message that resonates with your audience, not the number of voices delivering it. Here is my next tip. Define your style for your podcast. The most successful podcasts provide targeted content in a conversational and engaging style. Podcasting is no place for a teleprompter. A short topic outline might prove helpful, but successful podcasters don't use scripts because they lead to stilted language that doesn't resonate with listeners. Podcasts that feel like an advertisement or resemble college lectures won't cut it either. My advice is that you need to be authentic. I suggest that you talk about what you know using essentially the same words and tone you normally use when conversing with a close friend. Successful podcasts allow listeners to get to know the podcasters. Every person who is new to podcasting needs to understand that the key to being interesting is being interested. Curiosity is everything, even if you've got a ton of knowledge on a subject already. My advice is to make each show a connection, either with the interviewee or the audience. Eventually, you'll figure out what the story you actually want to tell is. With your style set, you'll need to put some thought into two additional aspects of your podcast, the length and frequency. The next step is to decide on the length. Your podcast's length should be determined by how much you have to say on a topic and the needs of your audience. I suggest that you give each episode the freedom to be the length it needs to be. There are five minute podcasts that appeal to a certain kind of listener and four hour podcasts that offer in-depth coverage of a particular issue. Typical podcasts tend to be 20 to 45 minutes, typically the same length as the average commute. My advice is to find what works for you and don't be afraid to vary the length when necessary. What you don't want to do is stretch out material to fit a rigid time frame or conversely cram so much information into an episode that it overwhelms listeners. The next step is to figure out the frequency. Your content will determine how often you release new episodes. However, if you are trying to build a brand or gain traction with a following, I suggest you consider recording and issuing an episode each week. It's important to keeping a regular release schedule for maintaining an audience and getting more listeners. Doing this can help your podcast grow a lot faster. To avoid feeling overwhelmed and hurriedly producing new episodes, I recommend that you create a few episodes before launching. This way you don't feel unreasonably pressured, but you are still able to stick to a regular schedule for your subscribers. Let me give you another tip. Get the right equipment. You don't need a professional studio with fancy equipment to record a podcast. All that's required is a laptop or tablet, audio recording and editing software, and a high quality microphone to record the audio. Let's talk about microphones. The utmost important factor in a show is the sound. My advice is to not skimp on a good microphone. Using a poor quality mic may result in a lack of audio crispness and clarity that will make your brand and podcast come across as amateurish. I suggest that you look for a USB microphone that plugs into the USB port of your computer. Do not use your computer's built-in microphone. There are some basic microphones on the market for less than $100, but if you are serious about podcasting, you'll want to budget for a higher quality model. 
Many podcasters swear by Blue Yeti USB or Audio-Technica microphones. I suggest that you use condenser microphones such as the Blue Snowball ICE, which also provide rich sound and are quite popular. Be sure to buy enough microphones in case you have several speakers or guests. My advice is to consider purchasing a pop filter to muffle or reduce the clicking and smacking sounds people make when speaking normally into a microphone. Ideally, you should record audio in a quiet area away from cars and nature noises. To reduce the time you'll spend editing each podcast, consider sectioning off the room and adding dense sound absorbing materials. Some podcasters record in a closet where carpeted floors and hanging clothing absorb ambient sounds. Let me tell you about recording and editing. You'll need audio software to create your podcast. If you own a MacBook or iPad, you are already ahead of the recording and editing game. Apple's laptops and tablets typically come equipped with GarageBand, a professional level studio editing application that's free and easy to use. Now, I have a question for you. What challenges are you finding in this area? Leave a comment below the video and let me know. So, of all the things that I have covered in this tutorial will help you start a small business podcast. If you need help with podcasting, make sure you click the link under the video now and check out the Podcast Masterclass online course. This online course will give you all the digital marketing skills, training and knowledge you need with podcasting to create a profitable business from start to finish. The link is in the description below the video, so check it out now. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and please give the video a like. That motivates me to make more content for you. If you have any questions, leave a comment under the video and I will follow up with you. Thanks for watching.